Hi everybody, I'm very excited because Julie Morgenstern, the life and time organiser who's been on Oprah, I don't know, nine or ten times, is coming to my house. She's coming to my studio. I know a lot of you have asked to see my studio, so today you're going to see it. I've tidied up a little bit, but I've kind of got this creative chaos going on, so I have a feeling she may tell me I'm, I might need to tidy up a little bit. Anyway, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous and I'm excited she's coming. The doorbell's about to go. I just watched her on the circle and uh, stay tuned, here she comes. Everyone, this is what I need, an organising and productivity expert. Look who's here, Julie Morgenstern. <laughs> and she is out from America at the moment. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Uh, I'm here as Telstra's guest. Telstra has just uh, launched the ultimate USB device, which is the world's fastest mobile. That's uh, what I need. Yeah. Would that be good if I'm travelling? It's perfect when you're travelling. Yes. It's great for there are more and more people that are yeah. mobile professionals. Australia's yeah. got like a very high percentage of people working out of the office. I love a so. new electronical product. Yeah, I think it's important and we have to master technology yeah. and integrate it into our lives. It can't own us, but if you know how to leverage it, it can it's help. It does you take over, help. doesn't it? It can take over. Oh. So you know one of the things that I have found is that technology is kind of outpaced. Yeah. The development of our techniques to deal with it. Yes. So there's nothing wrong with technology, but we have to add the human element. Yes, that's so true. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, the new little product, I just have to know because I'm like, when when I travel, I travel quite a bit. If I was in Sydney and I wanted to upload a video, but the hotel I was staying at was slower, would that be great for that? Perfect. Oh, everybody. Yes, you're no longer dependent on anybody else oh. for your broadband. You're actually carrying it with you. Oh. It just plugs right in like a little antenna. I'll put a link so you can find what that is, yeah. you know, because I, I yeah. haven't seen it, but, but I will, you know, put a link up and you can have a look. Um, so, Julie's here in my art studio, everyone, and you've all, all wanted to see it for a while, but I've always been a bit shy because it's been a bit messy. But Julie's got some good news. I think it's very organised. It's beautifully organised. It's a creative space. You've got all of your beads in beautiful display by color. I looked inside the drawers. That board is your inspiration board. Uh, I think it's great. We looked at it's it looks like it's just it's a perfect uh, staging area really? from, from which you can be creative, which clearly you are. Paul, did you hear that? Very impressed. Paul's my husband. Yeah. I can't believe you said that because that's like the most exciting thing in the world that you've said that I'm really like true. Creative chaos. Oh yeah. yeah, I think it's creative order. It's order out of chaos, that's what we do all the time, right? Yes, so what do you do with, like, I've got a couple of boxes, you don't need to show, show them, but I've got, like, see those little boxes there on the floor? Yeah. What do I do with that? Like, seriously, it's like the well, night is it? Well, it's just stuff I probably should sort through and put away. Is it, is it sort of... It's like tedious stuff. It's tedious. Is it, like, final decisions on things? It's is like it I really should cut up stuff? pieces and re-put the beads back in the containers. So, okay, so this and this is really common, so whether you're a, a jewellery maker yeah, yeah. or you work in an office or you have your own business, what happens is when you create a project, you pull yeah. pieces from many places and then you extract and you create yes. a final product, but what do you do with that folder or the box of bits that... Oh, I don't know, what am I going right. to do with it? What I think, you know what it's like? It's like when you move, Yeah. if you don't unpack your boxes within the first seven days of a move, they stay in your basement for seven years. <laughs> They never, I've is that true? That, yes, that's so true. So the same is true when you really? do a project. The minute so you I should just set it on fire. It's, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you finish a project, you should tack on 15 or 20 minutes at the end, and before you move on to the rest of your life, just get everything back in its place. My mother will love that you said yeah. that. She tells me things like that. It, it, it's like if you don't do it right away, you're never going to do it. It's because your <laughs> mind true. is still fresh on it. Yes, true. So you want to capture so it when you're... So I should put it away, I should do a project, then put those bits away, then start again. And then go get your cup of coffee. Do you oh. know what I mean? So yes. it's like when you come back from a trip, when you walk through the door, you have to unpack your suitcase immediately oh. before My husband you makes me down. do that, you all know that out there. <laughs> I seriously it's, have all the washing done that night. Right away. So, so, so well, you husband do that. I love you so much. So you do that with your, do that with your, uh, with your creative work. Yeah. You yes. Can do it. How long would it take you to put that all back? Oh, do you know what it's like? I don't know. It's oh, it's not the creative part, yeah. but it's setting things up for their next use. That's the way you need to think of it. Don't think of it as putting things away. What do you think of this idea? See this box? I just looked yeah. in this box, right? And I thought, what about mm. if I cut all those things up and just put all the loose beads in there so I had like this random box of beads? Why not? Well, it's better than them in the box, isn't it? I think that's a great idea. 
And See? that'll be your sort of like the surprise element. When you're yeah. making something, it's like, let me go to the treasure box and see what the happens treasure box. to come out. Yes. Well, it's the treasure box. That's a great idea. There yeah. we are. That's what I'm going to do, everyone. Yeah. So tell me, you're a Taurus, but I actually thought you were an Aries because my mother's an Aries and she's very organized. Do you think some star signs are more organized? Because I've got Virgo girlfriends who are like really tidy. I don't think it's star sign. I don't, I don't think it's vegetarian then. It's not a star sign. I don't think it's gender. Do you I, think it's learnt? It's absolutely a skill that everybody can learn. Organizing really? is not a talent. It is not a talent. It is a skill. And really, really? Can Have you always it. been tidy? No. What? Oh my God, I was Here's a the walking disaster area. We? Disaster. We lived out of piles. Spent half my day looking for things. Wow, well that's inspiring. Oh, when I was a kid, my parents would, I had a huge, the top floor of a big brownstone. Yeah. Because I had like the maid's quarters at the top. Yeah. There was no clear surface. And I would get banished wow. to my room once every eight months for the weekend. It's and told that I could not come out until there was a walking path from the door to my bed. And it, it would never occur by Sunday night. I would get lost in the chaos. And the so what happened? My daughter was born, and oh. when my daughter was born, which was now 25 years ago, um, I just knew I could live in this chaos, but yeah. I could not subject somebody else to this. It wasn't fair. Yeah. So I was very motivated to yeah, like, yeah. get it together so I could get her to school, you know, get, fill out the kindergarten application. And yeah. So I was very motivated at that time. So then, do you, now do you love it? Is it your passion? Do you love it? <clears throat> my, I definitely feel much more grounded and centered when yeah. I'm organized than yes. when I'm not. So I, I find it, I used to find that chaos creatively stimulating. Yeah. And I was afraid if I got organized, my creativity would get squashed, yeah, yeah. but it didn't. I'm more creative now that yeah. I'm organized. But my passion is really helping people because yes. I think organizing is not the, it's really not about organizing. It's about helping people express their unique selves and make yes. their unique contribution. And when you're, everybody's a unique set of skills and talents and has a unique contribution to make but if you're disorganized you can't yeah. you can't get that make that's that contribution. true that is true so that's my passion is kind of helping clear the bricks away yeah. that are blocking people from making their contribution I do that through organizing through time yeah. management change management have you ever been to one of those crazy houses that you see on the TV where there's just like stuff everywhere and then just done that have you oh, yeah like really crazy mad ones yeah <gasps> But inside wow. every one of those homes and every one of those offices is a human being. That's right. Who is just, you know, I they know, have I'm something they want to do or they want to <laughs> yeah. say or they want to... Yeah, yeah. And, it, you know, a system can get away from you. And yeah. it's just, I, 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 you know, it doesn't, to me, I don't... A hard job is nothing to do with how deep the piles or how yeah. old the mess. It, the only thing that makes a job difficult is if a client's not really ready. Yes. Do you know yes, what I mean? Yes, yeah, I do. It's all about ready. If you can see something on the other side of the clutter yeah. or the chaos that you desperately want, I yes. can get you there. Everyone, all you messy people out there, look at that. Julie used to be messy too and she's done it and created a whole business. Yeah. It's amazing. And time too. I mean, you know, it's yeah. just... I've got lots of women who watch my videos, and you probably get this too, but a lot of people say, how do I find my passion, what do I do, what do I do, you know, like, and a lot of people are stuck with what to do, but I think once you do something you're really good at, and kind of develop it, and then sometimes it just flows into the next thing. I think, you know, a lot of people confuse organizing and decluttering. Many people think that organizing is about getting rid of things, and it's not, yeah. right? But decluttering yeah. is what you do when you don't know what your passion is. Because the decluttering is finding what is obsolete yeah. in your space or your schedule and getting rid of it. And it clears the energy and gives you insight into where to go from here. And I will tell you, the answers to your passion exist in your piles. It's there. Oh, I love it's that. It's so true. It's in That's a goodie. Space. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So don't think of your clutter as junk. Yeah. It is actually, there are clues in there as to who you are and what's important to you. Did you all hear that, everyone? That's great. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Yeah. It is not junk. 
So go in with honor and like study it and you will discover yourself in those piles. Out of all the books you've written, because Julie's written like a squillion books, what would be the best one for someone to buy regarding this topic? This topic is a book, my most recent book is yeah. called Shed, Shed. Shed yeah. Your Stuff, Change Your Life. And it's about decluttering to figure out where you go from here in your life yeah. to handle change and to create. I saw really, a few yeah. videos about that actually on YouTube and that and the shed actually stands for all different things. So look it up. I'll put a link yeah. to one of the videos on here. But that sounds like a great book. Yeah. Yeah. Also awesome. it's a good book for this time in the world. Everybody's going through change right now. Yeah. I think it's so really too. a great opportunity because yeah. everybody is equal. Yeah. Now. But it's like everybody has equal opportunity. Like the world is really yes. great for everybody because we're all equal and now you can find your path. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much oh, for coming so here. So nice. Mwah. Great How to be amazing here. is she, guys? What a thrill to have her here. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, it's great to be here, Megan. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, this is for my mother and Paul. I would like to officially pronounce Megan highly organized and say that her creative mess on the surface needs to be left alone. That is genius. That. <laughs>